How many times have you been in a foreign city or town? And all you really wanted was a burger. Walking through town, you looked left, you went right. Unable to find anything. And then like a lot of people, you look for the big yellow M in the sky. Stop, what are you doing? Let's rewind that. Don't make that same mistake. That stuff can't even be considered meat anymore after all the additives and preservatives they've put inside. Well, guess what? If you're here in Varna, I've got your back. I'm gonna show you where the best burger place is in the whole of Varna. And I'm guaranteed you're not gonna regret it. Let's get down there now. Over this first year of having this YouTube channel, I've been to some amazing places in Bulgaria. And I've met some really interesting people also. Or maybe we just and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going downtown. Nice to finally meet you yeah, in person, good to Justin. Meet you, Gareth. Yeah. A couple of months we've been uh, exchanging, exchanging messages, exactly, but uh, exactly. I'm back in Varna and I'm really excited. So, guys, this is Justin, and he is the interesting person that I'm going to introduce you today. He's got a YouTube channel, but he's more of a vlogger, and he vlogs himself all around Eastern Europe. He's a Brit, just like myself, and he's today here in Varna. This is the first day, first time that we are meeting in person. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And you promised to take me somewhere nice to eat. That's correct. You said you like burgers, didn't you? Well, I figured if I'm going to meet a Brit in a foreign country, it might as well be some international food rather than local food. So yeah, Perfect. burgers it is. Perfect. Well, then I'm going to take you and him to the best burger joint here in Varna. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, we've made it here now, old buddies. This is the burger bar. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah, get let's into it. This. Can't wait to show you guys, this is amazing burgers. So here we are. This is the best place in Varna to get a burger made, 100%. Everything is made here fresh. They make their own sauces, they make everything. Fantastic. They've even got a cool little gimmick, yeah, which I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. Okay. But I've never seen this in a burger place. I absolutely love it, but if you just look at the choice that you get, how many different varieties of burgers, we've got some really interesting ones here. You're spoiled for choice. You are. You are spoiled for choice. And the ingredient combinations are very, very interesting actually. Quite unique burgers. But I like spicy, so. You like spicy. Ma maybe the fella here maybe who he runs the place, us. maybe you can help us out and recommend something. Definitely, definitely. You have a look, and the prices, it's not cheap for a Bulgarian standard. If you're a foreigner coming here. That is completely is acceptable. I mean, it's that's. Definitely, it's definitely yeah. cheap. Average burger here, by the looks of it, guys, I mean, you know, I mean, they have triple burger. That means three patties, you, and it costs eight euros, but your, your normal burger. Is anywhere between five and six euros, which is which is very acceptable. Yeah. Excuse me, yes. my friend. I need to start with something wet. <laughs> like, do you have a local uh, Bulgarian beer? We have local Bulgarian beer, Baros English ale. English beer? Yeah, this is Baros English ale. This is Bulgarian craft beer. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, have, have, a a I'll yeah. have a small, small local one. beer. Yeah, I'm going to take one of them as well. And I'm, and I'm not usually a big beer drinker, so yeah. Yeah, but, but it just kind of goes burger. with a burger. With a burger, you, I mean. have to. you can't have a glass of wine with a burger no, exactly. or a rakia. You know? This burger, I, I'd, I'd struggle to eat this one. The Flat Angus burger. So this is 750 grams. This is nearly a kilo of meat. Bloody hell. Have you had it before? No. no. That's madness. 750 grams. I mean, imagine this, guys. Your average typical burger is usually a quarter pounder. 
So that's a 125 grams of burger, more or less. Um, this is 750. I mean, that's like ridiculous. Five that's quarter pounders. five quarter pounders in, in one burger. So you like a spicy one? I mean, I'm also the same. I'm, I'm liking the sound of this uh, hot pepper jaw. Yeah, I'm liking that too. Exactly. Oh, lovely. So this is a Bulgarian yes, beer. Yes, this is Bulgarian coffee. Cheers, so how, mate. How long has this place been uh, running exactly? Four years. Four years. Now, you've been 24 March, we have a birthday. Ah, ah. In this place. great. So if you're in Varna on the 24th of March, come and celebrate the birthday with them. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Good to meet you. Yes, pleasure. That's a local, local Varna. Oh, that's Varna beautiful. Brewery. That is lovely. Refreshing. Yeah, so I'm really excited to see what you think about these burgers. You can well, burgers to me is an important food. Like, like I said, whenever I'm traveling, I like to experience all the local stuff. But when you're living in a place like you, yeah, you often want to taste the home. You want to go yeah. out and you don't necessarily want to just have bannets or shops or salad or you want to have, you know, what are the foods that you're used to. Yeah. So having a foreigner showing me the best places to experience that, I think is, is the best way, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. This is how you know when it's quality. When they're gonna ask you, do you want it rare, medium, or well done? Mm. I mean, for a place to offer this, they have to know where the meat is coming from. They have to be making it in-house because you, you need to know the steps for it to be, for you to have the confidence to serve a burger rare you need to know where the ingredients is coming from. And you've got to make sure it's fresh too. Exactly. True. This is very important. And they've been here four years. You heard the guy what he just said. would like to know a little bit about you and your channel. So, well, you know, um, basically, I started a channel about eight, nine months ago. Yeah. Really just for fun. It was as a, as a laugh, really. My daughter suggested it. and. Um, and I put out a few videos and I, I really started enjoying it. For me, it was just like a way of recording my life. Uh, because when you look back at your videos, it's, it's always an interesting thing to, to do, you know. And very few people record their life on camera. Uh, but when you've got a reason to do it, like YouTube, I, I find it fascinating to look back later. It kind of just grew on me and I decided, yeah, this is definitely something I enjoy doing. And for the last 25 years, I've been traveling extensively. I mean, I pretty much live at the airport, but specifically Eastern Europe. It's a place that has fascinated me, the history. Uh, you know, growing up in the UK, I think you're a bit younger than me, so you might not remember the days of the Cold War and all that. But growing up on the west side, you had all these perceptions, you had all these ideas of what things were like on this side, and to discover it and still find places, like I say, Varna for me is a gem because you're going back to those times, you know, you can still experience a lot of things that, that they're still the way they were then, you know, they haven't caught up yet, and I, and I find that fascinating, for me it's, it gives it a lot of charm, and so I love to come to Varna, I come to Varna a lot, but the, the whole idea of me on YouTube and, and it's basically to, to travel and to share my experience with other people that might also be interested in this part of the world think, oh, you know, is it safe? Is it okay? You know, so there's a lot of stigmas going around yes. with, with Bulgaria, with Russia, with, uh, you know, Eastern Europe in general. And I just want to show people how fantastic it is. Speaking to a guy like you as well that's living locally yeah. reinforces it. I mean, like you said, going home, no, that's not an option. I mean, <laughs> why would you? Yeah, why would you? <laughs> so, I mean, you travel into places like you actually live, you're based out of Latvia, correct? Yeah, right now, for about a year or just over a year now, I've decided, yeah, I wanted to stay in Latvia. Um, it's a fabulous country. I absolutely love Latvia. The, the nature, unbelievable. I mean, the four seasons there, there's just so much to do. I haven't even scraped the surface of, of filming in Latvia and being able to, to, to really show and experience Latvia for the fullest. But geographically, it's also a fantastic place because from Latvia, basically, it's, it's the middle country of three Baltic countries. Then you've got Russia, Belarus, and Poland is really close. But I find the same with being in Bulgaria, you know. Yeah. Bulgaria, Romania, Macedonia, uh, Serbia, Ukraine, a hop, skip and a jump away, as well as Moldova. I mean, it's, it's also a fantastic place geographically. That's why I spend a lot of time here as well. Uh -huh. And you've been coming here for years.
first time. Yeah. yeah, the first time I came to Bulgaria, uh, Varna specifically, I think it was 2001, so that's what, 21 years ago? I just left school. It shows my yeah. age. A year after, <laughs> year after I just left school. The moment I got here, I just fell in love with the place. It's got this energy about it. It's very laid back. The people are very friendly. It's one of my main destinations. I mean, I like to break up the cold winters of Latvia or Russia or whatnot, because as you see, I, I wouldn't walk around the streets of Riga the way I'm dressed today. No hat, you know, yep. sun shining, everything's fabulous. So you should definitely check out Justin's channel. I'm gonna link it in the video description below, plus I'm also gonna link one of his best videos at the end of this video, so look out for that. So my friend here told me you have the best burgers in town. Looking by your selection and the fact that you offer the different cooking, so I can see you understand burgers, but I like spicy. Yeah. So which, I mean, there's one that has a chili pepper on it, but is it like, what kind of level of spice is it? Do you cry when you eat it? Oh, no. <laughs> Five to six. Five to six. Okay. Make it medium for me. Okay. It comes with fries, yes. yeah? Yes. Very good. Yeah, I'll try that one. Okay. You got it. I think, I I'll, love I'll the same, but can I have it, uh, I want without barbecue sauce, please. Without barbecue. Yeah. Okay. You got your start, your medium? Medium, exactly. Medium. medium. Okay. Yeah. Burger, White Chick, Old Buddies. That was a good movie, actually, White Chicks. Yes. Is that from yeah. the movie, yeah? Every month we get a burger for the month. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, one second, before you go, this is interesting. What, what is this burger? Yes, this is with uh, chicken uh, filet for southern. This is American style. Bacon, onion rings, lettuce, cheesy sauce with uh, cheddar and uh, sweet uh, corn. Interesting. I'll and stick with my initial <laughs> order, but that, that's a good idea to have like a monthly uh, special. They rotate every month different exactly. different something burgers. Different which is, you come in here regularly. And yeah, you it gives you an opportunity to have something something unusual, different. Yeah. No, it's it's really uh, it's got that rustic kind rustic, of uh, the rustic, rustic feel to it. No, with the barrels, the Jack Daniel <laughs> barrels and that. Yeah, I like it. I will definitely come again. But if I lived here, it would be a once a week kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Back. Wow, look at that. You even have a stamp of your, exactly. of your burger. What's with this syringe? Is that the spicy stuff? Yeah, this is spicy. Yeah. Oh, See, look this at is this. the gimmick that I was telling you about. Old buddies. Guys, look at this. This looks absolutely fascinating. They even put the spiciness in a syringe, I guess, so as you can control what it is you want to do. But this is really cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you think. This looks amazing. Let's have a look. I like to investigate what's under the uh, under the bun. Under you know? the hood. Exactly. So we've got what appears to be onion rings. Mm. Oh yeah. Spicy Let's sauce. See what there. this is all about before I. Uh, oops. I'm just gonna dig it straight in. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Let's go all the way. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Here goes nothing. Fantastic, fantastic. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, patty is cooked perfectly. Yeah, nice and pink, medium. So it's not actually an onion ring, I think it's a jalapeno ring. Yeah, chili ring. Chili or something, yeah. Whatever it is, it does the trick. Really good. Does anybody ever order the 750 gram burger? Yeah. One person? Yes. They eat it? Wow. Men, women, women. Women? Yes. Wow. Order this burger, uh, next morning here for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take home, huh? So, out of 10, how much you get this burger then? Critical of my food. Yeah. But I gotta say, spicy, tick the box. Quality of the meat, definitely there. The fries, which to me is never just a side thing, it's, it's an important part of the burger. Excellent. Of all the burgers I've had, probably an eight. I and mean, that's that's not easy for me to... Uh, yeah, you've really got a high standard. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's definitely got uh, Justin's seal of approval then. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll definitely be coming back here, that's for sure, guys. As you see, 
the level of spice is there with my handful of tissues. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, yeah? And then also, what, if you want to see some videos from Justin, I'm going to link one of his best videos just up here, yeah? And then, if you want to see my street food here in Barna, then check this video here. See you on the next one, guys.